What is up guys? So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be playing Lord Kana. Huge shout out to Stefani and also happy birthday. Thank you for bringing over your Lord Kana cards for us to play and building decks for us. Uh, we tried to face Ursula in a three player game and uh, we got destroyed uh, and we did play on the easiest mode here. Um, so anyways, me and my wife went over to Target and uh, they had the Lumineers quest. So uh, I had no choice but to pick it up because it was tons of fun. And I also want to give a huge shout out to D20 Woodworking, who uh, pretty much taught me how to play on his channel. Um, I watched him play um, this scenario here as well, and uh, that's kind of how I knew a lot of that. So huge shout out to D20 Woodworking. Uh, you made Florcana look really fun, and uh, I am sewed. Uh, so this is going to be my first game here. This is the pre-constructed deck in um, that, uh, like the Illumineers quest here, the one with uh, Yen Sid, Mickey Mouse, and, and the Elsas and stuff. So uh, we're going to try it out here, and we'll see how it goes. This will be my first solo game in my uh, second game of Lorcana. If I make any ruins mistakes, guys, please check the comments below, because I will uh, put it in the description, and you'll probably see comments telling me about that. Hopefully, I don't make any ruins mistakes, but uh, I am pretty new to this game. So, uh, oh, and then just to also clarify, uh, I'm still going to be doing Marvel Champions content like at a normal basis. Uh, this is just a new game that I kind of picked up here. So uh, if you don't like Lorikana, just ignore this video. Um, the Marvel Champion stuff will still come out. Um, everything will be the same with that. I'm just going to add in some Lorikana whenever uh, I'm playing it with my pastime, uh, especially just the solo games. I think it would be fun to just upload. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything set up. So uh, we have the Ursula card right here under the uh, Ursula little uh, slot right here. And then we have the Lores right here. Uh, so this is going to be Ursula's Lore. If she gets to 40, then we lose a game. And then we start off right here where she's going to uh, Ursula's draw. For one player, she draws two cards every single turn. And whenever she hits up to uh, the 20 lore right here, then she starts to get three cards per turn. So we don't want that to happen. That's going to be pretty bad for us. So she's starting off at zero here. And then we're playing on easy mode. So we have the encounter battleground here, which says difficulty, easy. And then uh, she doesn't draw additional cards for lore each turn. And then the player abilities, so uh, we can spend our, our own lore points. We're going to use this dial here to track lore, so it'd be like one, two, three. And for the player to win, we must hit 20 lore. And then uh, we can also spend our lore, so we can uh, like lose a lore here to remove up to two damage from a chosen character. Or we can spend two lore to ready or exert a chosen character. Or we can spend three lore to uh, draw two cards. And we can only use one of the effects, uh, we can only use each ability once per turn, but we can use all the abilities. So we can use like the one to uh, remove two damage and also ready and also draw, but we can't use the one to draw like multiple times per turn. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and shuffle up here. And I've just started practicing this shuffle. So it's gonna be a pretty long shuffle here because um, I am not too good with uh, shuffling this way, but there are 60 cards in a Lorcana deck and uh, it is really, really big, and it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to uh, get used to this. All right, so we're just going to try to shuffle these in. Okay, and then let's finish off with some classic Yu-Gi-Oh shuffling here. Okay, I think that's good. All right, all right. So this is going to be a player deck here, and then for Ursula, um, I believe she starts with. Uh, she's going to start with her stolen trident here. So it's a zero cost item. And then uh, every single turn she gains one lore uh, by uh, exerting this card. So uh, that's it with that. Let's shuffle her stuff up. I don't know. I maybe probably should have sleeved these up, but I didn't have any sleeves. And that's not going to be good for the cards, but I think it's okay. Uh, ooh, there's no way to shuffle like that. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so hopefully I get a decent shuffle on here. I feel like it's definitely not going to be a good shuffle. I need to get sleeves for these. Okay, so I feel like, let's just do this. All right, well, hopefully that is good enough. So we put the scenario deck right here. Okay, she starts off at zero lore. We also have zero. And then uh, Ursa is going to take the first turn. Okay, so 
for Ursula's turn order, we ready all of her cards, then we uh, set. So we start turn effects will happen. There are none right now. Then we resolve the row, so we resolve all of her cards here. So uh, right here, this one, you, we exert it, and we gain one lore for Ursula. So she's going to go up to one already here. And then draw one at a time. She draws the number of cards indicated by her draw counter, so two. And then don't review the cards yet. Just place them face down in a pile next to her deck. So right here is going to be her hand. So she draws one, and then she draws two. Okay, so after drawing, we review. So one at a time, Ursula reviews and acts on every card in her hand. After finishing with each one, move on to the next one until she has no cards left in her hand. Okay. So first card is Flot Sam. So it has a bunch of abilities here, but it, it has a uh, four like cost for the ink. So currently her ink wall is zero, so she cannot pay for this card. If she can't pay for it, this card goes in the ink well here face down. And then uh, whenever she eventually has enough uh, cost to pay for her cards, um, she'll play them automatically, and then she doesn't exert ink well stuff to play. Uh, so they just stay ready up. And her next card here is going to be Technical Swipe. It's a two cost card, so it also uh, cannot be uh, played because she has one ink, so this also goes in ink well. And then that's going to end her turn. Okay, so that was a pretty good uh, turn for us. She didn't really uh, get anything. So we're going to draw up to our hand size here of seven. And we can also do a mulligan here. So I'm looking for like some one ink cards. Okay, we don't have any one ink cards. Uh, we have Yen Sid who's a two ink card. So let's go and mulligan all of these guys because I really want something to play on the first turn. So we're going to put these cards back into the deck for our mulligans. And then we're going to shuffle up. Uh, well, that's not working. How do I uh, try to do this? Yeah, guys, I am not good at shuffling. Um, how do I shuffle? Oh, like this. Okay. I apologize for the terrible shuffle. All right. Okay. And then we're going to... This is really difficult to shuffle. Okay, then we're going to draw six more cards back up to our hands as of seven. Hopefully getting something that we can play. Okay, five, six, seven. Okay, we got a one-cost card here, which is the broom. Okay. So let's see, we want to ink something. So if the cards have this thing and don't have that border, then we can't ink it. I learned that from D20 woodworking as well. Uh, so we can't ink this card, but every other card is inkable. So what do we want to ink here? Uh, when you play this character, you may shuffle a card from any player just got into its deck. Uh, do we ink... Um, Let's go ahead and ink one of our two cost brooms because we have both the brooms and we also have Yen Sid. So I'm going to ink, uh, let's ink this broom here. So we ink it, we put it face down in our ink well. Then uh, we can exhaust the ink well. And then, oh, wait, wait, do we draw a card? Sorry, guys. Okay, hold up. So when our turn begins, so I, I don't know what we draw right here. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's just put in the inkwell. And after we put in the inkwell, we can no longer um, look at our inkwell cards. So we're going to exert an ink, one ink, so we can play this one cost card here. It's the Magic Broom, uh, a Luminary Keeper. It's uh, one cost to play. It's going to have one attack and two life. And its effect is nice and tidy. Whenever you play another character, you may banish this character to draw a card. Okay. And we banish, it basically means that we can defeat it. And this can also quest here for one. Okay, so when we play it, the ink is drying. So we can't trigger anything with this card right now. Um, so that's pretty much going to end our turn. Okay, so that ends our turn. And it's going to be Ursa's turn now. So, uh, okay, Ursa's turn. She's going to ready all of her cards. So just as someone trying. Then set star turn effects happen. There are none. Resolve the roll, so she gets one lore here. So this goes up to two. Then she's going to draw, so she's going to draw two cards here. Okay, then uh, her hand, her first card here is going to be Fortunate Hit. Uh, it's a zero cost, so it does come into play. The opposing players together choose one of your items in mansion. We have no items, which is great. So this just get, uh, gets banished, so it goes into this card pile. The last card here. 
is Captain Hook. Oh, he's five. Okay, so since he's five cost, uh, she can't play him, so he's going to go in ink well, actually. So we're actually good. All right, she is with him right now. So it's our turn. We're going to ready everything up. And now the ink has dried on the magic broom. And then we can draw a card. I drew into another magic broom here. And I def definitely want to ink with someone to play Yen Sid. Uh, when you play this character, Yen Sid, if you have a character named Magic Broom, which we do, we can draw a card, which is huge. <clears throat> um, okay. Let's... When you play another character, you may banish the character to draw a card. Okay, we don't want to do that. But, uh, so we want to ink someone right now. Oh, Benja is so good because he can... Whoops, he can banish a chosen item. So he can banish this thing. So we don't want to ink him. Uh, I think right now... We, let's ink this, you know, we have multiple ways to do damage. No, okay, I want to keep the damage. No, okay, let's put down this uh, smash here. So it is inkable card. It's a three cost card with the ink thing around it. So we're going to ink this card, put it in your ink wall, I mean. And we're going to exert two inks so we can play Yen Sid, who is two cost. Yen Sid is two cost. He has one uh, attack, three life. And his effect is timely intervention. Whenever you play this character, if you have a character named Magic Broom in play, which we do, you may draw a card. So we can draw another card here, which is awesome. And the Arcane Study is an effect that we can only trigger if we have two or more Broom characters. So Yen Sid's currently uh, drying, so we cannot uh, use him to do anything. But we can exert the Magic Broom here to quest for one. So that's going to bring us from one up to, or zero up to one lore. So we're on the board here. All right, that's going to end our turn. So it's Ursa's turn now. She's going to ready up our, our cards. Then she's going to set no effects and then resolve the roll. So try gives her one lore. So, so she, goes to uh, she goes up to three. Then she's going to draw two cards and reveal them. So first one here, zero cost, Ursula's contract. Uh, opposing players can't use background abilities. So these are the background abilities here. So we can't use them for this turn. And then at the start of your uh, turn, banish this item. So her turn. At the start of her next turn, we, we uh, get rid of this item, and then she gets three lore, which is terrible for us. Um, oh, Benja could get rid of it. But I think it would be better to get rid of the trident. Okay, and her last card is six cost Anna. So she can't pay for it because she, she only has three in the ink wall, so Anna goes into the ink wall here as well. Okay, it's back to our turn. Okay, so we definitely... Uh, okay, so let's ready up everyone. And then we're going to draw a card. We got another magic broom here. I really like these brooms. Um, let's see, we have to play Benja here because I think being able to banish an item is big. We can't banish this because, I mean, this would just gain three lore for her, but this gets one every single turn. So I think for a long uh, game, this is going to be better to banish the trident. So we need to ink a card right now. Uh, who are we going to ink? Uh, we have two magic brooms here. This one doesn't have an effect. It's one life more until the start of our next turn. That's not that good. Uh, resist one. I think the life uh, or the resist. Let's, because I want to ink one of these brooms here. Not sure which one. Let's just go for the one that doesn't have an effect because I feel like effects are probably good. So we're going to ink this broom. It goes in ink well. Then we're going to exert three inks here to play a three cost card here, Benja. So Benja's three cost. He has two attack, three life. His effect is we have a choice. When you play this character, you may banish chosen item. So we're going to banish Ursula's stolen trident. So she's no going to get that plus one lore every single turn, which I think is pretty huge for us. Okay, so he's dry, so we can't use him to do anything, but these guys can both exert. So we can't attack items, I believe. So we're going to have the broom quest for one, and Jensen will quest for one as well. So there's going to be two quests bringing us up to three. All right, that's going to end our turn. So it's Ursula's turn. She's going to ready up. Everything's already ready. So our turn effects happen. So that's going to be the Ursula's contract here, which says uh, at the start of your turn, banish this item and then get three lore. So Ursula goes up three. So she goes from three up to six now. Then she's going to draw two, and then we reveal. Oh, okay, another contract. That's not good. So same exact thing. We can't use the background abilities. At the start of your turn, banish this card, get three lore. And then, oh man, okay. So definitely 
Not good with the shuffling here. So we got two more contracts. Okay. So she's going to go up six lower next turn. I'll bet the 12. All right. It's back to our turn. We're going to ready up. Then we're going to draw a card. Okay. We can start to get going here. Oh, we have Mickey. Uh, whenever one of your broom characters is banished in a challenge, you may return this card to your hand. Hmm. I think I want to get out of broom. Because if Yensis effect Arcane Study, when you have two or more broom characters in play, this character gets plus two quest. So that means he's questing for three, which is pretty insane. We can get a lot of quests this turn, and Ursa hasn't put any pressure on us. <clears throat> so we want to ink a card here. Ooh, unfortunately, we have to ink either a Mickey or a broom. I think we ink a, a cheaper broom. Oh, this run has evasive though. Um, I think it's fine. We inked a cheaper broom. We played this broom. Okay, we're going to ink this broom here. And then we're going to exert three. So we can play another three cost broom right here. So uh, it's inking right now. So we can't use this one, but these cards are all dried ink, so they can all exert. So this card says when you play this character, chosen character gets resist plus one until the start of your next turn. Damage does them is reduced by one. Let's give the resist one to Yen Sid. So Yen Sid's gonna have resist plus one until the start of our next turn. Okay, now we can trigger Yen Sid's effect here, Arcane Study. While you have two or more broom characters in play, we have two brooms here. Uh, this character gets plus two quest. So he's questing here for three. That'll bring us from three up to six. This broom will quest here. Actually, let's keep this broom in play. We're gonna have Benja. Quest for two. So I'll bring us uh, from six up to eight. And we're going to keep this broom non exerted. And the reason why is because whenever I played Ursula in multiplayer, she had this one card that made all of our exerted characters go back to her hand. And I don't want to spend all our time to play them back down again. So we're going to keep these two brooms up in case she gets something like that. Um, so we're not totally screwed if that happens here. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to end our turn. Yeah, that's going to end our turn. And we can't use the background effects right now because Ursula's contract is canceling. Okay, so that is going to... Uh, okay, so it's Ursula's turn now. She is going to ready up. Everything's already ready. So our turn effects happen. So banish this item to get three lore two times. So it's going to be six lore. She goes from six up to 12 here. And both the items get banished. She has no cards. Then she's going to draw two now. And then first one to reveal is... Okay, it's a three cost, so she can play it. Or three, uh, like ink, whatever. And then Magicka, the spell has no effect. It has four life and a four attack. Okay, and it's drying ink right now. And then we have Minnie Mouse, who is seven. So she even has four, so this goes in her ink wall. Okay, and then that is going to end Ursa's turn. So it's back to us here. So we ready up. So I should just have the broom um, exert there. That would have been probably better for us. And then we draw a card now. We've got Elsa. So, let me see. You play one less to play. Oh, I think I have to ink Mickey. Because there's nothing else that's inkable. Mickey is the only card that we can ink in our hand. Uh, if I ink him, I can play two cards. Chosen character gets challenged. Yeah, and then we can actually kill this duck. Um, no, no, we can't. We don't have enough. Chosen character gets challenge plus two and rush. Challenger plus. So Elsa's effect is chosen character. Oh, she must exert to do it. So we can't do have her exert this time, uh, this turn anyways. Um, okay, never mind. So, but uh, she could exert herself to choose a character to get challenger plus two and rush this turn, and they get plus two uh, attack while challenging, and they can challenge the turn they're they're played. So we can't kill Magic at the spell right here, I think. I think we just do a bunch of questing. Oh, but we can actually draw a card. We can do this right here. Okay, um, let's have Yen Sid quest here. And since we have two or more brooms in play, he gets plus two quests. So he's going to quest here for three. That will bring us from uh, eight up to 11. And we're actually doing really good. I think we're getting really lucky here. Uh, then we're going to trigger this um, player ability here with the background. So we're going to spend three quests. So we go from... 11 back down to 8. And then we can now draw two cards, which is huge, I think. 
Okay, we got some inkable cards. Chosen character gets uh, banishes item to chosen character gets plus one. Attack this turn for each card in your hand. Oh, that can kill someone. Uh, so I want to play two cards. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one on top of your deck and other at the bottom. That's not that useful. Uh, Trident. We can just play. Uh, we play Mickey. He costs four. We can't play the broom. Right, because that would be six. Yeah, uh, let me see. We can... Oh, we can spend two. Ready and Sid. Okay, this is kind of super powerful right here. So we're going to use this ability right here uh, to spend two lore. So we go from eight up to or down to six. And we can ready or exert a chosen character. So let's ready up Yen Sid. And then Yen Sid can quest here again. And he's questing for plus two because we have two runes in play. So he's questing for three. Then we go up to nine here. Okay, that is uh, crazy. And then we can still put an ink this turn and everyone has dried so everyone could quest if we wanted them to uh let's have benja quest here for two so we go from nine up to eleven and then i don't think i want the brooms to quest because i'm so scared for that tidal wave thing uh i think getting elsa out will be really good oh you know what i should have done i should have exerted this guy and then try to kill him um that's fine. We'll try to do that next turn, I think. So, or he'll be exerted. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's see. He's questing for two. We want to... Should I just get Mickey down? You pay one less for broom characters. If I play Mickey, I can't play anyone else. Um, we, we could use the Triton, though. The Triton would be big, because that can help us do a big attack to kill this guy. All right, who are we? Darn, I don't want to. I think I have to put down Mickey. Um, yeah, Mickey. Mickey's going to be inked here. So we're going to mi ink Mickey Mouse. And then we're going to exert three here. So we can play Elsa. So Elsa's going to be drying ink. So we can't uh, use her for anything. But then we can also now ink two. So we can play an item, Triton's Trident. So uh, let's just put the item, I guess, right here. And then we could banish this item. And then the chosen character gets plus one uh, attack this turn for each card in your hand. So that's going to be enough for us to take out like a strong monster or something. Uh, but we're not going to do anything right, right now with that. And then let's... Uh, so, so Elsa's drying right now, but we can still trigger these guys. I think we will quest here for one. Let's bring us from 11 up to 12. And then, should we just ignore the tidal wave here and quest? No, let's keep this guy here. Um, I feel like it would be good to keep him here, even though Elsa can rush someone, just in case. Okay, that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Oh, wait, wait, we don't ready up at the end of our turn. So we end our turn here. It's back to Ursa's turn. Okay, so Ursa is going to ready up all our cards. Then start turn effects happen. There are none. Then we resolve the roll. So we exert Magicka Dispel. So all of Ursa's cards will automatically quest uh, unless they have, I think, um, Reckless or something. So this guy's going to quest for two, which is a lot. So it goes from 12 up to 14 now. Okay. Then she draws. So she gets two cards still. So she hasn't reached 20 lore. And we review the cards. So first one here is three. So Hey Hey comes into play here because uh, only three ink and she has more than three in her inkwell. Uh, hey has three attack, two life, and evasive. So only characters with evasive icon can challenge his character. Okay. Then we also got Lash Out. Uh, each opposing character, each opposing player chooses and banishes one of the characters, and it's two costs, so it does come into play as an action. So we must choose and banish one of your characters. Uh, who are we going to banish? Let's banish... If we banish this broom. We can still play another broom. All right. So I think that's fine because we need to keep, uh, yeah, so we're going to banish this broom. We need two broom for Yen Sid to have his uh, three quests. So we're going to banish this broom here. It's our first banished card with our lash out. And that's going to end Ursa's turn. Okay, so it's back to our turn. We're going to ready back up. Ready up all of our exerted cards here. 
And then we're going to draw a card now. And everything has dried with the ink. Okay. We've got friends on our side. Actually, how many can we request here? Can we request for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? We can just win, actually. Eight. Because we can quest for eight. Um, so actually, I think we're actually just good. Uh, all right, let's exert one, two, three. So we can play another magic broom here for three costs. Uh, so this is the same as this broom. Um, oh, but this broom, oh, this broom can't quest. Never mind. So we don't win here because this broom can't activate here. Uh, I think rush. Yeah, we use Elsa to give it rush, then we don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, we could have Elsa rush this broom right now. Okay, let's go ahead and have Yen Sid um, do his thing first. So he's going to quest here. So since we have two brooms in play, he gets plus two quests. He's going to quest for three. So that will bring us from 12 up to 15. Okay, Benja's going to quest here for two. So that'll bring us from 15 up to 17. And we're so close. So these two can quest, but the ink is drying on this broom, so this broom cannot quest. So I think what we do here, uh, let's check the hand again. I think I want to kill Hei and then draw a card. So let's, we're going to use, um, let the storm rage on here. Oh, any character with a cost can, can use this to draw. Okay, let's actually play this card here. So it's a three cost ink. Uh, inkable card and it's got friends on the other side a character with the cost three or more can exert to sing the song for free so let's have this broom here sing this one can't sing because it's uh just entry plate and it's inking so this broom is three cost so it can ink uh to, or exert to uh sing the song for free and the song lets us draw two cards friends on the other side so we're drawing two here as an action we're looking for something to ink okay we got another song here you damage certain character equal to the number of characters you have in play. So that can actually kill anything, but because we have so many characters in play, um, I kind of don't want to ink it. You know what? Let's use this again. We want to keep drawing. So we're going to spend three lore. We go from 17 down to 14, and we can draw two cards. Okay. So we got some good brooms here. Let's go ahead and ink this broom. So now we have three more ink here, and we're going to exert three. So one, two, three. So we can play our Let the Storm Rage On. So this is an action card that costs three, so we played it. Do two damage to chosen character and then draw a card. So Hey has evasive, and he's not exerted, but it says just do damage is not a challenge, so we can do two damage on Hey, which kills it. And then we can also draw a card with the Storm Rage On. So we get another card here. We got another Magic Broom. Okay, so um, we're going to exert Elsa for this effect where she can choose a character that gets Challenger plus two and Rush. So now a Magic Broom can challenge on the turn their play and his plus two attack. So he's going to have four attack, exert, exert Elsa for that. So now the Broom can attack this uh, Magic uh, the spell because it's exerted. So the Broom is going to challenge this and it's going to attack for four so his four life so magic of the spell dies the magic of spell has four attack and, and it attacks the broom back as well because whenever they challenge they both uh, attack each other so uh the broom is going to die and magic of spell is going to die and the broom exerts here uh, with the rush even though it's drawing ink to kill that and then uh, they both get banished okay and then we can save the trident here so we're actually doing good and then uh how close are we we need to play another broom here for Sid to one, two, three, four, five. So we might be able to win if we can keep these characters on the board here, but I'm still worried about that tidal wave. But I think I'm getting pretty lucky here to not get the tidal wave yet. Okay, so it's Ursula's turn. So we're gonna end our turn. So she is going to, uh, what's she doing? She is going to ready all her cards is nothing. Start turn effects is nothing. Resolve the row is nothing. Then she draws two. Okay, then the first card here, it's going to be cap size. So it says if you have, it's three costs, so she can uh, pay for it with the five in her inkwell. So if you have six, uh, something or less, 
Oh, I think that's your ink well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have six or less, put the top three cards of your deck uh, into your ink well face down. Is that good for us? If you have seven or more, each opposing player chooses. Oh, no, it's for her. It's for her. Okay. So because the U refers to her when it's her cards. Okay. So since she has less than six ink well, she puts the top three cards of her deck into her ink well face down. Okay. So now she can pretty much pay for anything because she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ink well. All right. That resolves that. And then her last card here, reviews, is Hey A again. Okay. So I think we're actually good here. So it's back to our turn. We're going to ready everyone up. Okay. And then we're going to draw a card here. Okay. Uh, chosen character can challenge already characters this turn. Okay, so we definitely get a broom down. So let's go ahead and just exert two here so we can play this broom. And this broom will be drying, so the, this broom cannot exert uh, this turn. But having two or more brooms in play, because now there's two brooms again, Jens is going to have that plus two quest. So he's going to quest here for three. That brings from 14 up to 17. Okay. And then we actually have the kill shot, um, but I want to kill Hei here. So is there a way for us to kill him? Three cards uh, in your discard pile. No, we don't have evasive. So since he has evasive, we have no way to do damage to him right now. Um, Victor, when you play this character, you may shuffle a card from any play discard pile back into your deck. Oh, so we're not going to use a sweep here. If you sorcerer a character in play, that you may exert chosen character. They can't ready. You damage the chosen character equal to. Oh, we can kill with the strength of raging fire. So this is a song. We're not going to have anyone sing it, but we're going to exert here. Three, so we can play Strength of a Raging Fire, which is three cost. And then do damage to chosen character equal to the number of characters you have in play. We have one, two, three, four, five characters. So five damage kills Hei A, even though he has evasive, because it's not in an attack or a challenge. Okay, then we can have uh, Benja here, quest for two. That will bring us from 17 up to 19. And we have Elsa here, quest us for one to bring us to 20. And then, um, yeah, I think we got it there. So that is uh, Ursula here on Super Duper Easy Mode. And uh, yeah, that was tons of fun. That was, uh, yeah, okay, I think we got it. Um, if there's any mistakes, I'll put them down in the, um, in the description or in the, com or in the comments as well. But hopefully uh, that was decently clean. And we get to open this now. So it says, only the victors shall unseal this packet and claim the prize within, or this treasure becomes property of Sea Witch Ursula for all eternity. And I already know what this is because I watched D20 open it. Um, but we're going to open it here now if I can. Okay, I just put the sleeves. So, um, not doing a good job here. Okay, come on, come out. Okay, all right, we got it, we got it. Okay, so we got the half Hexwell crown here, and it is uh, requires six ink to play, and uh, an unexpected find. We can exert this card, and it says two ink. So we, I think we gotta spend two ink to draw a card, or or like exert two um, ink things, or we can also exert two to discard a card and exert a chosen character. So I think that's a pretty powerful effect. So yeah, we we got the. Uh, half Hexwell crown and it is super duper shine here which is awesome um yeah so we got some reward for uh, defeating ursula um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed uh, my first solo lord kana game uh once again happy birthday to stefani uh thank you so much for bringing lord kana in our lives uh hopefully i don't get super addicted to this new uh trading card game here but uh yeah if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, put it in the comments below and i'll answer questions uh shouts to d20 we're working again for pretty much teaching me how to play with his videos and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video and for marvel champions players uh, don't worry once again everything's gonna be exact same for marvel champions content i'm just gonna be uh also playing some um lord kana probably just solo games and i'll be uh just uploading them uh like all my solo games for lord kana and uh, just to see for this but yeah this is the uh, pre-constructed deck um in the illuminator's quest 
And uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video.